Hello, my name is Vince from Mr. Telephone, and today I'm going to show you how to do uh, an Ethernet cable, putting a, 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 an RJ45 plug onto uh, a Cat 5E cable. You can also get Cat 6 cables, I'll be doing them a different day, they're slightly different, but today we're just going to be concentrating on that Cat 5E cable, and the one I'm using today is solid core, but the same applies if it's a patch cable, you would just have to, uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's the same thing, it's a tiny bit more fiddly to get the wires in on the patch cable, because the wires are ever so slightly softer, but it's the, it's the same principle that you follow. So uh, if you want to zoom in now, and I'll show you how to, uh, how to, uh, Put the uh, put the plugs on the cable. Okay, right. Okay, so we have two different types of plugs. We've got the Cat 5e and the Cat 6. Let me just find the different ones now. Right, this is a Cat 6 here, and this one is a Cat 5e. Now I don't know if you can see that, but the Cat 6 one it has got staggered holes, so the holes are like staggered, and the Cat 5e is just straight across. So that's the only difference between them. But today we will be working on the uh, the, the Cat 5e one. When I come to do the Cat 6 cable, it will make more sense because you'll see the wires in there and then you'll be able to see it more clearly that it's staggered. Okay, These are called strain relief boots. They just give the, the plug and the cable, they give the cable a little bit of protection when it's plugged into your router or your PC, whatever you're plugging it into, your Xbox. It just stops the, the cable from bending too much. You get these in all different colours and they just slide on the cable. So uh, here we go. This uh, plug's already on the cable, so you just slide it on like so. And then to strip the cable back, I'm using a little cable stripper. And you see, I haven't damaged the wires there because I can actually snap the cable. Okay. There is another way of doing it. If you're if you haven't got a, a cable stripper and you're you're not sure you don't want to damage the internal wires, can you see here that there's a little little drawstring there, a little bit of string. And the idea is, make a little slip there. Get your screwdriver. And then you can use that to draw down, yeah? And that way you know you definitely haven't damaged the internal wires because if you get a little nick on the wires, even if it tests okay now, give that a week or a month or a few days, it will eventually snap on that part. So uh, yeah, you can do it. You can do it like that, okay? But uh, the way I'm doing it now is just using the, uh, using the stripper. So let's just get rid of that a minute just to show you that it's solid core, so it's quite, uh, you know, it's quite stiff, it's not like patch cable, that's, uh, that's really floppy, that's quite stiff. So, uh, just strip that back again. There we go, okay, get rid of the drawstring. Okay. Right, now there's two types of uh, colour color diagrams, there's the uh, 568A and the 568B, and as long as you do the same on both ends, so if you're doing a straight cable, as long as you do A to A or B to B, it doesn't actually matter. But I always use B because nowadays all the patch cables you buy, they tend to be wired in the B configuration. The only difference is, is that the, uh, the blue and the brown is always the same, but on A it starts with the green and on B it starts with the orange on pins one and two. So it would be swapped around. If you want to do a crossover cable, you could do A on one side and B on the other side. But today I'm gonna to be doing it in the B and that's the way that most things are done nowadays. So what you do is just untwist the wires there. Now we're onto the greens. Now we do the blues. I'll show you the, the colours in a minute. Then the solid green. Okay. So if you can see, it's white orange, then solid orange, white green, then solid blue, white blue, solid green, white brown, solid brown. Okay, and you've got to remember to do exactly the same on the other side. So make them nice and flat. It doesn't matter that you've untwisted it. Remember, it's twisted all the way up to there. Uh, it's such a short amount there that it's not going to affect anything. You have to untwist it to get it into the plugs. Okay, so trim that back nice and straight. Now, this is the, this is the fiddly bit because often when you push the wires in, They will, 
sometimes lose their place. Okay, so you always have to double check after they've gone in. Okay, and also that's not very uh, that's not very straight. So let's just straighten that up a little bit using the cutter part there. Right, now let's have a look. So we've got the uh, make sure we've got the right colours: white, orange, orange, white, green, blue, white, blue, green, white, brown, brown. Okay. And then you simply make sure that they're pushed right away to the end there. You can probably see the coppers at the very end. Often if you put it to the side, you can see that the wires have gone right away to the very end. Yeah? So you've got to make sure you get a nice straight cut. That's why you use the cutter part of the crimpers to get a nice straight cut. And then you can just push down like that. I've got a nice little ratchet one here. It's just some, it's a more expensive crimper. And then, yeah, that's it. That little bit gets pushed down there and that holds onto the cable to stop it coming out. And you plug, plug your boot onto the end. And that's it. Uh, that's it, that's how you do an, uh, an RJ45 plug. That's what they're commonly known as. They're actually an 8, uh, 8P8C, which means uh, it's uh, got eight positions and eight conductors. So if you count there, there's basically there's eight positions and there's actually eight conductors. So when you're dealing with RJ11 plugs, they're often called uh, 6P, 6, uh, 6C or 4C. But with this one, it uses all eight pins. Okay. And uh, yeah, that's how you do it. So you would do the same on the other end. I mean, I can quickly, uh, quickly do it now. Put that on now, I won't talk through the whole thing because I'm just repeating myself. Because I've used such a short length of cable, often you find the uh, the wires get pushed through. Get rid of that joint. Flatten them out a bit, make them nice and straight. If you have them too long, because it's hard to judge how long to do it, like when you push them in, you might find that, for example, it might not go to the uh, the cable might not go right the way to the end there. So uh, you can you know you can always you can always cut it again. See where we are here. Now let's just double check the colours. White, orange, orange, white, green, blue, white, blue, green, white, brown, and brown. Okay, and the cable's nicely along there, it's fully in. Again, I can see all the copper at the ends, and they're pushed all the way along. Okay, put that up, put the plug on. And there you go, you've got your little patch lead, okay? And if you want to test it, you can pick up these testers for a few pound on eBay. And uh, plug it in there, okay? And I've done a straight through cable, so we want to see the, the wires go all the way down there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that means that the con con there's continuity between all the pins. If you were going down and you would see the green light jumping around the place, it would mean that you've crossed your wires over. Uh, ground, that's for shielding, if it was a shielded cable, but it's not shielded, this isn't a shielded cable, it's just UTP, so you don't need it. So we now know that the, uh, that the cable's okay. That's it, now, you'll find most of these products on uh, my Mr. Telephone, my eBay page, that's uh, www.mrtelephone.co.uk. I'm hoping to do lots of these videos in the future, so uh, please be kind, this was my first one, I know it's a bit amateurish, but uh, yeah, I'm hoping I'm gonna be doing about external connectors, 
if you've damaged a cable and you need to put a repair joint on it, BT66s, BT77s, BT80s, I'll be talking all about that. Uh, also, I'll be doing more CAT6 cabling, how to wire up sockets, how to do extensions, how to do external cables, BT Infinity cables. I, I sell all these things already on my, uh, on my eBay shop, but uh, I'll be explaining them on, uh, on these uh, how-to videos. So I uh, hope you enjoyed watching. Thanks very much for your time. Thank you.